Okay, let's continue with this main camera script. I have my width variable. It's going to be 0.7, that's 70% of the screen size. I also want a height. And for now I'm just going to leave it the full height of the screen. Now I want to have Um, an X and a Y that tells me where on the screen in the rectangle to begin drawing uh, this camera box, this viewport. So I do 1 minus the width over 2 and 1 minus the height over 2 and I do this so I don't have any hard coding. Uh, I can just change one number here for my width and change one number here for my height, and that affects everything else. And that's the way it should be done, so that you don't have any magic numbers in your code, and uh, hard things to track down when you make a change later. So the script is attached to my camera, so all I need to do is now tell my camera rectangle to be redefined as a rectangle, capital R, X, Y, because those are the names of my variables, and width, and height. Alright, so let's play now, and we'll see the, the changes in the screen size. Okay, so we can see the blue here is what the camera uh, can see, so we now have a new X and width for the camera viewport. And it looks like the player is now clamped within that screen. So that's good. That's what we want to do. Now let's add a particle effect. And we're going to use this to create the stars in our uh, background. So it looks like we're flying through space. Start out by zeroing the position. And I want to look at this from the positive X. So over here we have our light and our camera. We have our player ship there. So I'm going to move this over here some. That's going to be the background. It's rotated negative 90. And I want this to be pointed down. So let's see. Oh, that was negative 90. To positive 90. I want this to be above the camera, so I'm going to click on the camera, and it looks like the top of it is about 10 meters, so I want to move the particle system higher than that. Okay, and over here in the inspector, we can see that the particle system shape is a cone, so this isn't going to work for the effect that I want now, I'm going to change this to a box. This makes all of the particles come out evenly um, in one direction, which I want, not out of a cone, which has an angle. And if I click on um, the perspective here, then we'll see that the stars are only going down in basically a one meter wide um, shape of the box. So I want the box to be bigger and that is the X direction for how I have the camera. Let's say 10 or so. So we really need to play this in game to see if that is enough. Okay, it doesn't quite fill the whole screen left to right. So let's go a little higher. Let's try 15. That should do it for us. Now I want to do, I want to change some of these settings up here. Start delay, I want that to be on zero. The start lifetime, we need these to be, uh, to live long enough to go through the whole screen, so we'll have to make sure that they do. Starting speed, I want them to have different speeds. So let's say 
between 1 and 4, we can totally play with these numbers. Um, starting size, let's go something small, 0.02 to 0.2. Starting color, we'll leave it 0 for now. And that should give us the effect that we want. So let's play and see what it looks like. Excellent, so now we are a ship flying through space. And it looks like maybe it's not going on the edges still, so I need to make that wider. Now here's an interesting thing in Unity. I am in play mode right now, and if I go make a change to box, let's say I make it 20, then I will now start to see some stars that go from edge to edge. So that's in effect. And if I click on play to go out of this game scene, um, or the play scene, my box shape has gone back to 15. So you need to remember that when you're in play mode and you change any variables, when you go out of play, it is going to revert every single thing that you did back to how it was before you went into play. So I need to change it now to 20. Now when I hit play, I'm looking for the stars side to side. Okay, so I see some over here close to that edge and over here. That's great. So I see some of them have disappeared in the middle of the screen. So we'll need to uh, play with the lifetime, but basically we are done with the star field, and we'll uh, make any changes as we go uh, to make the gameplay right. So this is going to be lifetime. I'll just change this to 10 for now. I don't want to have things live too long off the screen. So I'm going to click on my uh, main camera here. So it goes down to this line, which is minus 10. But because I have different um, starting speeds for my particle system, the start speed. Some of them m might uh, end their life before they get off the screen, so we have to play with that. And some of the faster ones are going to be way below the screen, but that's how we're going to have to do it. Unless we create two different particle systems, 